Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Don Fnatic, and welcome to another Pokemon X and Y PU battle. Today on my channel, I have a battle versus Poke King 1999. I'll leave a link to his Twitter in the description, as well as his YouTube channel if he has one. I can't remember if he does. Um, I, I haven't got anything to look at right now, so we'll just go with it and say that I'll leave a link in the description below. But yes, I'm trying a few new Pokemon that I thought I would like to try in PU, so I've got my... Um, Onyx and my Hypno, which I have used before. Onyx was quite a while ago. It's the standard. Actually, I think mine's Calm, but it's Max. Yeah, Calm, Max Special Defense, Max HP if I like. Um, Hypno is my standard Special Defensive Ball, which has been in my last few videos. Uh, Aurorus is Rock Polish Life Orb set. Uh, Frogadier is also Special Life Orb Protein. Um, I, I didn't really think this one would be any good. And I didn't really get to try it out properly in this battle, but I've seen people use it and it's been really good. Choice Scarf Darren Marker actually works quite well. And then I also have my Swords Dance Belossum, which um, people saw me tweet about and was like, Oh my god, I get Swords Dance. I was like, yes, I know. So I thought I'd try it out and see how it goes. Anyway, my opponent starts off with Boldor. And when I see a Boldor, I'm like, okay, you're going to set up rocks or explode or do something similar. And as Onyx can take the explosion, I'm pretty sure he's going to go for the Stealth Rocks. So I decided to taunt this thing. And then he can't set up his rocks, which is quite nice because I have a choice scarf, which is a fire type. So I don't want to keep on switching in and out that fire type. So I decided to set up my own rocks by well, guess for an earthquake here. And this earthquake doesn't do too much, but it does more than I thought it would. So here I'm thinking he's going to go into wish cash or something similar to probably take on my onyx because it can hit me super effective quad with a water move. So I switch into Belossum here. And uh, he brings in Wish Cash, which is perfect, so I can hit him with that Grass move if I want to. But as I said, this is a Swords Dance Belossum. I run Leaf Blade, Drain Punch, Swords Dance, and Sunny Day with Chlorophyll. He doesn't really get many physical moves to benefit from the Swords Dance, other than Leaf Blade and Drain Punch gets Fling. I can't think of anything else. There isn't any... I don't think it learns anything like Poison Jab, or I, I don't know what else it could learn. But yeah, it gets Swords Dance, so Leaf Blade's going to hurt after a Swords Dance. This is a Jolly Bellossom as well, so it's going to be really fast in the sun. However, he brings in a... What's it called? A... I can't even... Farfetch, that's the one. And um, because I haven't got the sun up, I know I can't... Well, I'm pretty sure I won't be able to outspeed it. But he actually goes for the Brave Bird here. Um, and Onyx takes it like a champ. And... He gets a bit of recoil damage, which is good. And at this point he switches, which makes me think he's probably choice, which is a bit strange. Because Farfetch with a stick doesn't doesn't stick increase its critical hit ratio. Isn't that a better writing for Farfetch? I don't know, but I bring in my Onyx and I get a, 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 taunt, a taunt off, which I thought was really good at this point. Because obviously Swoobat's like using Calm Mind along with Simple, but this isn't a normal Swoobat. I believe uh, I came to I deduced that this is a Choice Specs Swoobat because it actually done a whole lot of damage. More than I thought it would. So I'm expecting to go for the energy ball here, knowing it gets it from past experience. And I switch into Hypno, because Hypno is pretty much safe. Unless that thing has Shadow Ball, um, it can't really hurt me that much. So in comes Sneasel. Um, I don't really know why, obviously it's the Dark type, so it can hit me super effectively. But I do pull a double, expecting him to want to switch out. And I go into Darren Marker, which is actually a brilliant switch. So uh, I don't know if he'd expect him to be choiced or not, but you can go for the safe fake out. And. Um, he does so, and he's actually a Life Orb variant, which is quite cool, I guess. I don't actually see them. It doesn't matter if he, if he was Sashed, it wouldn't have mattered because I had my rocks up, so that Sash would have been broken. In comes Boldor, expecting to take a fire move, um, but I am smarter than that. I knew this Boldor was still there, so I didn't really fancy staying in on that thing. And it's really good that I didn't go for the Flare Bits, as you'll see uh, a bit later on. I go for the U-turn, and I hit it, because Darumaka's ability is Hustle. It has a chance of missing, as you find out later on in this battle. So in comes Frogadier. And uh, I'm just going to go straight out for the Surf, because obviously Baldor's in, and Surf can hit anything for neutral damage on his team at least, so I thought, yeah, you know, why not, it's a strong move. Whatever I go for is going to be stabbed, so let's just go for Surf, because it's my strongest move. And um, the Surf is going to hit Persian and doesn't quite kill it, which is a real shame, because um, Frogadier looks like a really cool Pokemon, but that's about as much as it done this battle. Anyway, I bring in Onix, um, obviously predicting a fake out. And he does go for the fake out, so he's got two fake out users in his team. So as long as I play around these well, I'll be okay. But at least Onyx can take them really well. You know, he surprises me here with a seed bomb. I didn't even know this thing gets seed bomb. Uh, it's uh, four times effective, and it only does about I don't know less than half, maybe about forty percent. 
Um, but he gets another seed bomb off as I go for the taunt, expecting him to want the switch, not knowing you have the seed bomb. So that really threw me. Anyway, Onyx goes down, which doesn't bother me too much. But um, in comes Darren Maka, and because I'm scarfed, I don't know if I'd actually outspeed it or not. And I was kind of expecting him to want to switch again. Um, and there I go for the U-turn, and I miss. And luckily for me, he the Shadow Claw, and I live with 1 HP after a critical hit. Um, I don't understand why he doesn't he didn't go for a return, or if he even runs return, but maybe he should. That, that would do quite a lot of damage. But he gets the Shadow Claw, and I live with 1 HP after a critical hit. So that's why it was good. I didn't go for the Flare Blitz, otherwise I would have been a dead Darumaka. So anyway, I bring in Frogger here because I think, you know, I'm going to be faster than most things. And I can hit anything for super effective damage. As Well, no, I can hit everything with Stab, rather. But he brings in his Farfetch here. It didn't occur to me that he's probably going to be Choice Scarfed. I already figured out he was Choice. Um, so why I didn't think he was Choice Scarfed on the way he bought it in, I don't know. I don't actually know what uh, Farfetch base speed is. Probably lower than Frogger is, but it doesn't really matter because I get to bring in Belos now, figuring he's Choice Scarfed. Knowing Leaf Blade won't do much. So here I can set up either a Sword Stance or a Sunny Day. And I believe this time I go for a Sunny Day. Um, just so I can outspeed what everyone wants to bring in. Because Bloss isn't the fastest Pokemon as I've already said. And Sunny Day and Chlorophyll doubles its speed. So it makes it pretty much faster than anything on his team at this point. Unless he has a Choice Scarf Pokemon uh, like Swoobat. But um, yeah, I mean his Farfetch isn't really much of a problem anymore. But thanks to Rocks and the pure strength of my Pokemon. Anyway... Jester comes in again because he can pretty much check this thing. He goes to the air slash here. This is why I think he specs. I've done quite a lot of damage for a non-boosted Swoobat. Because Swoobat's special attack isn't actually that high without a Calm Mind. Um, so now he's going to switch. Obviously knowing that I can take them for days. Probably going to go for a Wish. Or thinking it might go for a Wish anyway. Because after another air slash I'll be at low health. And I do go for the Wish here. And I was really, really, really tempted to um, swap out into my Daramaka here. And try and get a wish off, so in case he went for Dragon Dance. And I actually decided to stay in with Jester here. And I go for the Magic Coat just in case he wants to go for a Toxic. Because I see Leftovers, I think he's a defensive variant. I'm not even thinking that he has the um, Baldor as his defensive Pokemon. So he does go for the Waterfall, and it doesn't do anything because I'm in the sun. About 30 damage it done, and I'm not even defensive invested, only HP. And uh, I'm actually back up to full health, which is really nice. So just I'm going to switch out here because I don't know what he's going to do. I go into Darumaka just in case he wants to do something that isn't attack. Um, but he goes straight up for the Earthquake, which sucks. So Darumaka goes down. He did do a lot of work this game, so I'll let Darumaka off for dying. And uh, I was I, I didn't even like intentionally do it, but I realised I had Sunny Day with Darumaka. That could, a Flare Blitz in the Sun from a Hustle Choice Scarf Darumaka is going to hurt. Anything that doesn't resist it. Anyway, the Wish, wish Cash is not going to want to stay in on a Leaf Blade or a, a Grass move from um, my Blossom. I was going to say, I haven't revealed I'm a physical set yet, but I actually have because I've gone for the Swords Dance. So here I go for the Sunny Day. And um, knowing Blossom, I really wanted to try and use Belos in this battle. So I'm going to decide to stay in here, expecting him for me to switch. And um, I don't know what move he's going to go for. And I was just really hoping he doesn't go for Air Slash because I'm pretty sure I can live anything else. Gives the Psychic and uh, does a lot of damage. Um, but Lost actually has really high special defense. You could probably run quite an effective, especially defensive wall with it. Um, but obviously, I run an offensive one. And uh, Swoobout's actually going to go down to a plus two Leaf Blade. And it's not even a critical hit because Leaf Blade does have a high critical hit ratio. Um, and my other move is Drain Punch. So I'm not too bothered that I'm at a low HP here. Um, so I'm, I'm thinking I'm in I'm good stead here. I'm going to do well with Belos. I'm going to sweep his team a bit. But in comes Sneasel. I know he has Fake Out. So it kind of made me think maybe he's not carrying Ice Shard. Or is it a thing where Sneasel carries Ice Shard, Knock Off, Fake Out, and something else. I don't know what other move it will run. Pursuit maybe. Um, but he does go for the Fake Out. He gets the Life Orb Recall. But I decide to stay in and go for the Drain Bunch. And he does carry the Ice Shard. So it's not too bad. Belos and died. It is more life orb damage and it'll definitely mean whatever I want to bring in next time is going to kill it. Um, which in this case I think is actually going to be Aurorus. I think at this stage I'm down to Aurorus and Hypno. And I haven't actually used Aurorus yet so he's nice and fresh. And um, this turn here was the start of my opponent's downfall. He goes for the knockoff which obviously you'd want to do on any Pokemon. He knocks off my life orb which is really, really important as you'll find out. Um, I go for the rock polish here expecting to live whatever he wants to go for. Because obviously I resist the ice and knock off. I'm pretty sure it wasn't going to kill me because my HP is huge. And I do live the ice shard at a critical hit. 
which is annoying, and he does live the life orb too. So I go for the ancient power because it's super effective, and voila, it's gone down. But that's not the end of the story, I do get the plus one on every stat, which literally secured me the game right here, because Aurorus is now at plus three speed, so not even that choice scarf Farfetch is going to outpace me. Maybe at plus two it could have if it was max speed, I don't know how it would work, maybe one of you could do the calculations, but I I do manage to outspeed it now, and he brings in Baldor, I don't know if he's expecting that none of my moves to be able to hit it, but I go for the flash cannon, I carry the flash cannon, get the critical hit, probably didn't matter because I was at plus one, and it's a special attack, and um, in comes Farfetch now, so I have that, I've released, or not released, showed I have that uh, ancient power and flash cannon, and I do have nature power, which turns into tri-attack in this generation, which then uh, gets the refrigerate bonus, and is super effective, so um, that's definitely a dead far-fetched, and he only has one Pokemon left, which is Wishcash now, and um, I have my almost dead Aurorus, and my pretty much full health, um, Hypno, so this game is pretty much set for my, to be mine, I go for the nature power again, hit that tri-attack, and with refrigerate and plus one, that is enough to take out Wishcash at neutral, so good game there, Poke King. 1999. I really enjoyed that battle. Aurorus is amazing in PU. If you guys haven't used it yet, please check it out because it is such a good Pokemon. Um, thank you for watching, guys. Leave a like if you enjoyed and subscribe if you're not already. My growth has been pretty good recently. Um, I'm getting quite close to 400 subs. That would be really nice if you get me there soon. Other than that, I can't really think of anything else to say. So I hope you have a good evening slash day, whatever. Depends what time you're watching this. Other than that, see you later. Bye.